sorry. Sorry. It's a pigeon. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. My name is Natalie. For those of you who don't know me, I make videos all about Gibraltar. And I was just walking and I found this Filipino takeaway. I just saw the flag of Philippines and thought, oh my gosh. So this is the menu. How great. And it literally has all the authentic Filipino cuisines. You've got chicken adobo, kare kare. Um, what's it? Tapsilog. What else? We've got spring rolls, lechon, longanisa, everything. Palakbok, it has sinigang, everything. It's absolutely amazing. Pure, authentic Filipinos. And guys, can I just show you? They have all bit. <laughs> Literally, they have everything. Oh, I'm so, so happy that I have found a Filipino restaurant in Gibraltar. Like, that is mental. That's crazy. I'm gonna ask if they have halo halo. But I don't know if they have hindu <laughs> So, I have just ordered my food. What did I get? I got some um, pancit, the chicken um, canton pancit. I got kare kare. And obviously I got adobo. I got some spring rolls. I want to get, I want to try their sinigang. I've already just spoken to Lola here who is cooking everything and she seems pretty authentic. It's so affordable as well. I love it. Um, so I'm definitely going to check it out and actually taste the food, but they're making everything fresh and I love that. I would rather prefer that they cook it fresh and not just freeze it and then warm it up. Yeah. Especially not Filipino food, you don't want to be doing that um, constantly, it's not good. I love how they have Filipino products available for sale, it's absolutely amazing. It's quite affordable, a bit more expensive than what you can find in the UK. So like in Cebu or any of the Filipino um, supermarkets that you have in the UK. But I mean, to be honest, if there's nowhere else to buy it, then what can you do? And they have to make their money somehow, right? But yes i have just seen that they have ube and all the other halo halo ingredients so i need to go and buy an ice shaving machine and make my own halo halo i'm so so excited super excited there's wi-fi here there are a few tables literally like i think you can fit i'm not even joking like six people here uh that is it you can order takeaway pick it up for delivery and you can eat in so if it was just ryan and i then we could just sit here and eat ah, thank you <laughs> what kind of thing? Ah, thank you guys ah! oh it's like piping hot because it is freshly made i have got um some food for ryan so i feel really bad if i were to open it um, and eat it there. I'm gonna walk home right now and show you what we ordered. Ah! Most excitingly, or most importantly, I need to um, taste it. I definitely need to taste, oh, are you gonna let me go? This is a zebra crossing. Okay, obviously not because it's Gibraltar and people don't stop for zebra crossings. Thank you so much. Um, anyways, so most importantly is how the food tastes. So I am going to be doing that. Oh my gosh, this is my, my, my first like, is it a mukbang? Mukbang? Is that really fresh? Let me say it. Mukbang, mukbang, muk, is it a mukbang? Okay guys, I have dished my plate already um, because I can't lie, I wanted to show my mum before I started recording. But yeah, so I'm not being funny, but the portion sizes are tiny. Um, this has this is the chicken adobo, so I don't want to um, put it vertically because of the sauce. But look how small that is! It's tiny. Look at my hand. Like the hell. So if you go into the adobo, they've only given us one, two, three, four, five, six, six, six pieces of chicken. It's not very nice. It's eight. Anyway, so then you've got the noodles, which is obviously in a bigger container, but then it's quite deceiving because it's a thinner container. It's actually really hot. Um, it's a thinner container. So 
if we open it up, um, well, actually, the punset looks really, really nice, to be honest. So I'll show you. Ooh. And that looks like a decent size. I did say I only want um, a portion for one. But then again, they only have one price for each dish. So it's not like they have large, medium, small portions. Um, if you were just to order pancit, it's, I think it is just this size. So this is the rice container that um, it came in and it gave me a fair decent amount of rice, I think. Um, that is quite a large portion. I mean, these plates are quite huge. So I've just put on my curry curry and immediately, I don't know, again, I'm only just um, judging compared to how my mum makes it. The curry curry sauce um, is usually thicker, how my mum makes it, and it's a lot more peanutty because um, you add peanut butter for that like sweet taste. Um, they did give me some bugger on with this and patis. <laughs> Both stink, but they taste so good. I forgot to show you guys. So we've got two large lumpia spring rolls here. Um, these are the chicken ones. They do have vegetable as well. We're going to try this. I've prayed over my food already and I've dished it. So we are going to get some beef, vegetables, rice. Oh gosh, if I can get it. Of course, we have to eat with a fork and spoon. Mm. Mm. I can't lie, that's good. That's actually nice. I'm gonna put some more bubble on there. Bubble on is like salted um, fish, I think. Is, is it prawn? I don't know, but you basically put this in with your food so you don't actually need salt because it's salty already. Um, at the moment, I am enjoying. The rice was freshly made as well. That was piping hot straight out from the rice cooker. So, mm, I'm hungry. Let's try the punta actually. This is the canton um, noodles, uh, chicken, so. Mm. Okay, I can't lie. The pancit is actually really nice. Um, I dig this. This is actually just how like mum makes it. Um, I like it. Ryan's gonna like that. I need to say that. Oh, I don't have sweet chili. I don't have sweet chili for the um. The spring roll. Comment below if you dip your spring rolls in sweet chili or vinegar. Let's see what side of the Philippines you are on. If you know, you know. For those of you who don't know, you have to dip your spring rolls into sweet chili. Team sweet chili here. Okay. Mmm. Mmm. I like this. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna eat all of them. We don't have sweet chili. Let me see if we've got sweet chili. Oh, we don't have sweet chili. Mmm, this is nice. I'm not gonna try the adobo because um, that was Ryan's order. Okay, so my overall judgment is that the food was actually very nice. Of course, I am comparing it to my mum's cooking, but for those of you who don't know what Filipino food is or have never tried it, this is authentic Filipino food, how it tastes. Um, they do have the main dishes on there. Um, for the price, compared to the portion size, is quite expensive. But then again, if you are in Gibraltar, you would find out that food here is more expensive compared to the UK. I really, really like it. She has a really tiny shop, so there is only about six people um, that can fit in there but she does do takeaways deliveries and yeah this is authentic filipino food and you would find that filipino food is very filling even the pancit i think the pancit is actually a really good size for one person and the spring rolls are huge which i love they did have products of the philippines 
that you can purchase there, which was amazing because if you did want to just cook your own food, you can buy it there. Again, the price is double compared to what you can buy in England. So for example, the Halo Halo um, fruits, uh, the jars, kind of the ingredients. <laughs> In the UK, I know you can get them for like less than two pounds, like probably one pound 80. Here it's almost double, which is three pounds 60 per jar. So they just had a loads of different things that you can buy, which are authentic Filipino ingredients and how we make it, how it tastes. Anyways, without further ado, I'm going to finish my dinner. I'm actually really, really enjoying it. And thank you again for watching this video. I will see you in my next one. Bye guys.